Good morning, Dolphins. Miss Herring here. Happy Friday. Today we are going to learn how to paint with markers, using them like watercolors. So here's what you're going to need for today. Markers, a paintbrush. If you don't have a paintbrush, you can also use Q-tips. You'll also want something that's non-porous. That means the paint won't absorb into it, the marker won't absorb into it. So a plastic bag or a piece of tinfoil are gonna work great for that. And then the last thing you'll need is a cup of water. I've also chosen to use some crayons because crayons we know resist um, watercolor paint. And so I'm gonna put a few designs on my paper real quick with some water before I start to use my markers. All right, so let's get started. I'm gonna start with my plastic bag and I'm gonna take a marker color that I wanna paint with and I'm just going to scribble a little bit on the plastic bag and then I want my brush to be wet before I dip into that pigment that I put on the bag. So I'm gonna get my brush wet and then I've got a nice little puddle of watercolor paint that I can then go on my paper and paint with just like I would watercolor paint. And you can blend your own colors. So if I wanted to change this up and make a new color, I can put some more marker scribble next to it, get my brush wet, blend them together. Ooh, that's making like a nice peacock color there. And then come back and paint some more. So that is one technique that you can do to make watercolor paints for yourself. Another thing that you can do, and I'll use the tenfold for this, just because I already have paint on my bag, but you can use your bag for this too, is to scribble on a piece of tinfoil or on a plastic bag. And I'm gonna show you something that will give you kind of like a galaxy effect on your paper. And you can then let that dry completely and draw or color on top of it when it is dry. Or if you really like the way it looks, you can just leave it like that. So I've done this kind of scribble. I'm gonna take a wet paintbrush and I'm gonna just go over it to wake up the rest of that color. I don't wanna blend it too much because I want some of the different colors to still show. So I've gone through like that. And then you can take your paper and press it and voila, you've got this kind of galaxy effect that you can let dry and then color on top of. Now, if you don't have a paintbrush, what can you do? You can use the Q-tip. But remember, a Q-tip is cotton, and so you don't wanna stick the Q-tip right into the paint that you made because it's gonna absorb all of it before you get a chance to paint with it. So you want your Q-tip to be wet first, then you can pick up your pigment, and then you can come and paint with the Q-tip. So that's how you can paint with markers instead of watercolor paint. And if you have some markers lying around that have lost their juice, they no longer really write anymore, you can soak them overnight in about a tablespoon, two tablespoons of water, and then you'll have pigmented water that you can paint with the next day. I hope you have fun with this one, Dolphins, and have a great weekend. As always, I can't wait to see what you make today.